I'm in the home of Elida Rivera over here off of Mile 9 in Mercedes. This is one of the areas that was hit hard by the heavy rains. The Rivera family is looking for a way to get into their mother's home, but they offered to show New Center 23 what the rains have done. We might have to park at my house because it's higher ground than my mom. That's it. It's so high. Nearly every street in their neighborhood is flooded. There's a little dirt road. <laughs> Finally, a road is clear and they can make their way in. Elida Rivera raised her boys Robert and Roy in this neighborhood. Roy even bought the house next door. Both are underwater. So we're going to walk over to your house, right? My house. And you haven't gone inside? No. You're not going to go oh, inside, right? No, not with not, not 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 so Elida and her neighbors believe that had the Hidalgo County Drainage District opened pumps earlier, their homes wouldn't be underwater. This is not, it's never happened before, not this bad. This is too much. 46 years and it had never flooded up to mile two. Robert and I walked through waste of deep water with raw sewage, gas and oil leaking from stranded cars. It's a little disappointing to see it underwater. You can feel the floor. I think the tile, the ule or something uh, lifted. We, uh, yesterday when my brother and everybody came and picked up, we picked up my dad, he was sitting here drinking his coffee. Yeah, it, it lifted all the floor. And like many in the Rio Grande Valley, this home doesn't have flood insurance. All of this is gonna have to go. Now the homes that have water damage, it's not just rain that is inside of their home. They have septic tanks out here. So inside these homes is raw sewage, oil from the vehicles that have been flooded out, and it's gonna take a long time for this to go away. Brenda? Wow, Derek, extensive damage out there. Governor Abbott has declared a state of emergency for Hidalgo, Cameron, Aransas, Nueces, San Patricio, and Willacy counties, authorizing the use of all available resources to cope with this disaster. The Rivera family expects to reach out to FEMA for help.